Hello everyone, I am Code Missile and this is another episode of Shambles. You join me on the top of the melon farm that we built last episode. Let's see if it fully works. And hang on, let me just change my thing back to first person. Yeah, that's it. And and if you're wondering in the last episode, yes, I did build it wrong. I forgot to actually place the hoppers, but I mean, there it is. It works. Has been running until there are other people on the server. I will make a way to get this chest a lot higher because if I fall in. Yeah, if I fall in, that's just that ain't good. So, on, anyway, in this ep the episode plan for today is to build a super smelter. I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of had a bit of smelting issues. There's one actually, I need, I need to check the smelter. Does it have anything in it? Uh, let's see, up, 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 and away. Tap, no, tap, damn it, bedrock, let me, no, no, nothing. What about in here? Here, okay, let's see. Wood, bones, saplings. That was very disappointing, which is why we need to build a super smelter. The fuel for the super smelter, I have no idea. I might make a kelp farm because I don't know if you can see any of this, but you know this it's a lot. No, you you just you die. Don't die to you again. Yeah, that. that if you noticed, but a lot of kelp over here. Although I do have to get kelp into dried kelp and then turn the dried kelp into kelp blocks. It's gonna be which is gonna suck. Yeah, that's going to be very tedious, but kelp blocks are the best source of fuel in this game. And I think the first thing we ought to do is to check exactly how much cobblestone we have, which is why I climbed up here so I can launch off. Let's see. So, oh, new progress. That looks like furnaces. Now, this stuff I will have to see. Do you have any? One piece of coal, three pieces of coal, and uh, yeah, you can keep it. You know, this place looks very boxy. And this is just started. That one look, looks in a, looking a bit better. Yeah, a lot better. Do I do have to question this block choice? Yeah, he doesn't have any coal either. Just a massive hole in the ground and some glass panes. Path block. Hmm. And now to check my base, see if I got any coal whatsoever. All right, we're here. Uh, let's see, that's nothing. Bunch of iron. No. No. Go left. No. No. Right here, the mob chest. No, that's not the mob chest. Is it this one? Just arrows. No, I don't have any in my ender chest. Right, I don't have any coal to... And I don't have... It doesn't seem to have any cobblestone either. I mean, yeah, this is a tree base. I already need cobblestone for. So I guess we need to do a lot of mining. And yeah, see you guys. But I tried to create a time lapse. Although you'll probably just see me very slowly mine a bunch of iron. Stone, I mean. Find a bunch of stone with this pickaxe. Damn it, bedrock. Yeah, another thing is making up sentences on the fly. 
I'm not thinking of doing this. If anything, I have to go by myself. I'm using it in my head. I'm just moving around to stay here. Three, I'm deciding I'm running back. Well, I just died. I see two people online. So yeah, I'm just gonna pick up my stuff. What the hell? A creeper. A creeper did this to my base. How much damage has been done? Also, I only need netherite armor. Is that my gold? Yeah, that's my gold. Was it a charged creeper? The two charged creepers explode. This is not the explosion of one creeper. I think I know who did this. I can need to wear this helmet. Where are my leggings? Boots. Leggings. Oh my gosh. Okay, now they're just spawn killing me. Revat, you idiot. You blithering idiot. Why didn't... Why didn't you use a bow? Why didn't you use a bow? Why did you think you can take a creeper on your... You're only good against PvP, not... Flipping PVE. Okay, that's it. Was that? Oh no, arrow. You know your crap. That PV. Okay, I mean, as long as I get my harming bows. One harming bow, so that despawned. That's my ender chest. And I guess it's this, that. No, I don't want to know how to craft. One creeper did all this. 
I'm, I'm, come on, get up. One creeper. Yeah, I was about to say there's gonna be a lot of mining. Slow down the hood again. Yeah, I did a lot of mining, and that technically isn't a time lapse, it's just some sped up footage. That's the only way I know how to do it at this moment in time, but you know, I did learn. I will have to go and pick up the rest of my items. Luckily, all that wood that went into that tree is being stored somewhere else because I had a funny feeling that when I misplaced, well, to be honest, I hid the diamonds of this. I hid the diamonds of the guy over there. And I, and, you know, and he did say in the chat with, for like the two minutes he was online, while well, talking to me at least, so he was going to blow up my house or something. And so, like, like any reasonable person, I hid all my valuable stuff, which does include 10 stacks of wood. Next episode, well, when the next episode comes, I guess we'll have to start repairing that. I mean, yes, I am recording. I mean, you can see it right over there. I am recording this after this episode. Because I... I was about to say I did a lot of mining since I kind of realized my computer can't actually handle the footage of me mining all the cobblestone. At least we know the cobblestone's safe. I got all my furnaces. The wood is gone. My gun- is my gunpowder gone? I don't want my gunpowder to be gone. No, my gunpowder is safe. My sugarcane is definitely safe. So I have a lot of rockets left. You- I don't want to talk to you. You- You- Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard to fix. I had the whole thing burn up, like, like I said in episode 1. The entire thing burnt up. All the leaves, everything. He even took the lanterns that were there. So I had to replace those. So I guess fixing the base isn't too difficult. Although to be fair, the last the, you know, other time I rebuilt it, I did have a foundation. I mean, uh... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, don't, don't plant any trees here. Don't plant any tree. Don't plant any trees here. I already have the tree built. I will literally attack you. Go. And you, you it, how He has enchanted netherite armor. Okay, you. You are crap at PvE. You thought you could take on a flipping creeper with a sword. And now we know that you can't get creepers with a sword. And at least it's learn, a learning experience for all of us. Next time I build a base, it better be creeper proof. Literally. Or just mob proof the outside of my base with a bunch of torches. But... I mean, I got the coal for it. I don't even want to see, look at you. Yeah, he left the game. He probably has to do something else. I guess this is why this entire series is called Shambles. Just a bunch of mistakes happening. Can I, can I climb this? No. Three droppers, that is definitely mine. Instant damage two. Instant damage. Hmm. I mean, if in doubt, I do have the entire stack at the secret not secret base. Yeah, that's where I moved all this stuff. All the wood went to the secret not secret base. These palm trees. Right, it I don't want to talk to you anymore. No, I will forgive him for what he did, but for now, just. He was killing me until I got netherite armor, and then he couldn't. Well, there's all this. He does have an enchanting. He did say I can use this. 
don't have the lapis on my secret, not secret, please. Yeah, I need to go enchanting my leggings because that's definitely something I have to do. So I'll just put in one bone here. And then I can just you no. Know, yeah, this this was a mistake. Anyway, back to past me. You've just been attacked by a skeleton. Yeah, see ya. You wanna see some meat? Take that. Ha. Right, now, for the important bit, jump, India, and that's it, oh gosh, nope, you're not getting the hat, the jump on me spider, take that, now where's the shulker box, right, how much furnaces can I make with this, well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, so, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, all of this here. Not andesite, don't need andesite. And then we'll finally see if it's correct. For that, we're going to need a crafting table, which I don't think I actually have. Hmm. Well, maybe I do have it, just never. Use it right. Let's see how much 49 is that it? Well, that's just a shame, isn't it? Well, it says 49 plus no, exactly 49. It's close. I do want a 90 item super smelter, as you guys probably seen from the previous episode. Well, not previous episode, the episode before that. Label 90 items super smelter. Obviously, I want something a bit more than 90 items because I mean, I, I don't want to ever wait for items to smelt. I just want to wait for one item to finish smelting, and that will be it. And seeing as though I'm almost halfway there, geez, I knocked back was insane. Then, yeah, I guess I guess I dropped the damn cap. No, that's not why I meant. Right, who is it? You. I don't want to die to a zombie. I might die to a zombie. Oh no! Yeah, I'll see you guys back.
Right, news flash. Well, well, I'm gonna update flash. <clears throat> I have just come back from a ton of mining and a bunch of dying. Uh, my pickaxe had to be repaired quite a lot. Although, to be fair, I did have that silk touch pickaxe and then just mined it with a stone pickaxe because, you know, I had wood. See, got a bunch of wood there from some jungle cheese. And we have a bunch of jungle bark over there. So that's good. So it turns that sticks stone from mining. Yeah, I mean I got an infinite supply of cobblestone. I mean I didn't need efficiency five. Maybe I should have just used a stone pickaxe to save this because I don't have mending on it. Yeah, that's right, world. But I think it's now time to start with the preparations. So first we'll be setting out the layout. And I think I should be building something here. Or should this be my mob farm? Hmm. I could build a kelp farm around here. Some experience. Uh, looks like someone went mining down there. I'm just wondering. I, I'm pretty sure there was a farm out here. Not one of mine. Although it might be somewhere over here. What is, you guys see that tree? Is that? Ooh, I think I found the wall corruption. Right, if you guys didn't know, during the off screen, we had a wall corruption by the looks of it. And while everything was kind of okay, I didn't see no major problems with the farms, they still work. It looks like this tree got the yeah, this tree took a hit. It's good to know these leaves only spawn though. Alright, so I think we've established where we're going to build this. Oh, I was right, there is a farm here. Who does this belong to? It's a bunch of wheat. It definitely needs to be... There's a crafting table over there. I mean, it definitely needs to be thing uh, farmed up. You notice the gold in my inventory is full of power. Ooh. Ooh, it's like a proper secret villain base. Oh, never mind. That's just three furnaces. No coal, 38 charcoal. Put that in there. Nothing in here. Crafting table. 14 diamonds. What? And he has a trident. I mean, I got a better trident. But it looks like... Yeah, he's got a bun... I could have just borrowed this stone. This local. Looks like he's starting on... Yeah, uh, looks like he's starting on some build. This must be his underground base, whoever this is. And yeah, uh, he, because there are only boys on this server. I know that for sure. Of course, if there are any other girls... We'll be sure. A proper secret villain beast this is. Hmm. You know, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Maybe we could just. Yeah, I have an idea. And this involves the silk touch pick. Yeah, is this one. Right. So. Can I pick up some? Yeah, can I, I can pick up stone. Right, to go above. He's not gonna notice this. Of course, if he does, he'll probably kill me. Is that gravel? That is gravel. Right, that shouldn't matter. Break that. Then stone. Then stone back. Right. See, it looks like, in this, except that there's a gap there. And this gap, there's nothing in this one, right? Yeah, nothing in that one. We are gonna put a chest down there for eight crafting table. Uh, chest. Down here. Get his diamonds. And simply put them in here. 
and cover this back up with a good old furnace. He will not notice a thing. Yeah, he won't notice a thing. But obviously, if I can just... Hang on. Don't like bedrock. No, that's too much. Yeah, you can definitely see there's something down there. And if I can just control this good enough... No, could... Can I even take this chest? Let me just... No. I want to use that chest. It's a furnace. And... I mean, it definitely doesn't look like it's stone. It's not that obvious. Why can't I... Can I... It's... I'm sure this works and... Can I even open this? Break this open. Does that help? No. No, I don't want to do that. I'm going to need those rails. It's gravel here, isn't it? Yeah. Well, hopefully this person will see the episode because, you know, then he'll know where his diamonds are, but, you know, it's not stealing, it's just casually hiding it, and plus you should never leave your diamonds out in the open. I mean, mine's in an ender chest. So nothing you can do about that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Right, and I also need a bunch of food, because I don't want to starve, and I definitely need to build a better food source. But definitely not. How long has my iron farm been running? I swear it's been running for ages. Before I'm feeling loaded chips. Yeah, it's a lot of iron. Also, the question is, what happened to it all? Iron 15. I'll take this spot, put the fifth one there. Right, see you in the spot where I am going to be building the super smelter. Right, this is the area where we're going to be building the six motor. What it, 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 it involves a piece of that guy has a shovel. He yeah, has a shovel. Anyway, this farm is going to involve minecart hoppers, so it must be within a chunk. In fact, it doesn't have to be in a chunk, actually. The only thing that matters is that it doesn't w start working, start running out, outside of loaded chunks. Which should very well be impossible because we're going to have a manual switch for it. Anyway, yeah, this is it. We're going to be using a lot. 90 items, maybe a lot, but you can, put, as you can tell, I have way more than 90. In fact, I think I have so 128, 139. Yeah, 139 furnaces. I'll place them out in a 30-30 area, because I, I don't think we'll need that much. And oh, I'll just realize we will 100% need a wool. Hmm, well, what do you know?
Right. Yeah, this is the general layout. We'll just have one long string of furnaces. This one is 32 hoppers, I believe. I mean, no, not 32 hoppers, 32 th furnaces wide. Yeah, and I guess we can do the same on the next row and the next row. However, we will have to leave spaces out for the hoppers and blocks for, I guess, the powering of those rail again and the rails so now it's just time to decide that we'll definitely need one on top of here and we'll probably put extra one here hopefully no bugs coming into play although in bedrock everything's bound to break and is my Strangely, my elytra has not broken. I mean, it has mending on it, but still, yeah, I'll see. I'll see you guys when I've done this. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is an issue of lag. Don't know if you want us a bit too loud. Yeah, there is an issue of lag. If that is how <laughs> leg right um i think it's well known that furnaces can cause lag in bedrock i'm pretty sure they do it in java too and you know i turn the sound down because i just want to explain this properly but what the i but the idea is that furnaces with nothing in them completely inactive they remain as regular blocks well almost immovable and that enderman just took a sand block hopefully that wasn't it that sand block wasn't too important oh no no don't want to look at him idiot yeah that guy wow he's an idiot um however active furnaces oh don't attack me don't attack me why does everything want to attack me at the end of an episode yeah that's all i got time for today i did say that I wanted to get some wood. Or if I didn't say that, I got it now. Wondering why my hotbars all messed up, I got killed. Well, I exploded by a creeper. And that took away about a bunch of my, not a lot of hearts. But then I was killed by a drown. That drown then picked up my sword, this sword, and my elytra and leggings, because you know, I died in the same place as the drowned. And yeah, it was a perpetual state of dying, because I literally couldn't, I couldn't let him take my elytra, nor could I let him just take my stuff or let him despawn. And yeah, it was a perpetual state of dying, no one is online right now, I'm the only one here. That is sad. So no one really could help me. And then, at the very, I mean, this continued until I got the trident here. And I just, uh... Throw that up in here. Yeah, just continue until I got that trident. And, yeah, managed to beat him. After all, he only had my leggings. And I'm pretty sure he had my boots too. I couldn't exactly see. I definitely knew I had my elytra and leggings and the sword. So, you know. There's one thing that Bedrock has is spamming attacks. Where in uh, Java, I'm pretty sure you have to wait a few minutes. But anyway. If anything that are active will cause lag. Well, only a tiny bit of lag. Of course, if you have thousands of them, or 96, you will cause a bit of lag, either on a client or server. Well, both sides, actually. I am actually playing this on mobile, yeah, Pocket Edition, not on a tablet, and I'm pretty sure mob the mobile version, well, the phone that I'm playing this on, can't handle that kind of lag. I definitely know a PlayStation can handle 90 furnaces at once. I have tested it. Uh, yeah, that's about it. The wood, as I mentioned, and still haven't answered. I, you know, I just got distracted by the Enderman and telling you the story of why there's a massive hole here. Is that hoppers? This will use basically there will be a hopper on, on top of the furnaces and a hopper on the side, which is why there's a two block gap. And gosh darn it, stop! Mm -mm. Oh wow. Anyway, oh come on. It's my axe. Okay, good thing that didn't despawn. I'm pretty sure a bunch of stuff despawned. Of one or two. 
Well, maybe you guys, you guys will probably know if something despawned. But yeah, hoppers on top and hoppers on the side. More or less this side. You know, that's why there's a two block gap. And on top of those will be rails, powered rails, going straight through. And there will be a block here that will send them a block over here as a terminator for this rail. And obviously, there will be a minecart hopper that will go over the hoppers, put items in here. Hit the terminator, come back, and that's it. We repeat that for one, two, three. The wood is for the chests, and if I am correct, I need a just about four stacks of wood for all 96 furnaces, I'm pretty sure. Iron, on the other hand, I mean, iron I don't exactly have to worry about. I mean, yeah, I live in the forest. I do live in the forest for wood, but I can still run out. And then again, building that base over there, which I didn't actually record, that was off camera, was, how do I say this, not, I have a lot of wood, I have a lot of jungle wood, definitely more than this, I showed you in the first episode, and iron, I do have the iron form over here, and just, I should check just exactly how much I've got, and 19, so I was outside loading chunks. And how much iron do I have? I don't know if that's enough iron though. In fact, I don't even know how much iron goes into a hopper in the first place. But next episode, we will fill in the hoppers. The rails, we will definitely do. I mean, we, I should have enough food for that. I mean, it was only four stacks for chests. And in terms of rails, it's a bunch of sticks. And you know, you get two sticks per two wood, so I definitely have enough wood for that. Iron, again, you might have to do a, an AFK session, but that should be it. Uh, luckily, this episode, well, at this end of the episode, not the other one that I tried to do, I'm not being killed. Everything seems to be going smoothly, apart from the fact that I am depleting my hunger bar insanely quick. Yeah, while whilst I completely diminish my food resources, I'd just like to say if you like this episode, subscribe and of course I will see you all next time. Bye bye.